So now let's look at this. Let's say we had h of x equals two over x. If you have a function whose derivative is two over x, then what's the original function? So now we have to go through the catalog of functions in our brain and think what function has the derivative of, well, we really just need one over x, right? Because the two is just a constant multiplier, right? So whose derivative is one over x? Yeah, the natural log of x. So this is two times the natural log of x and then plus a constant. And then I'm actually gonna append this a little bit. This is actually the natural log of the absolute value of x. And we'll talk about that in just a second. And then maybe we could do one more. Let's see, let's say maybe lowercase k of x is equal to e to the x plus three times sine x. So what should that be? So the antiderivative. So whose derivative is e to the x? Yeah, e to the x, like if you reverse the arrow there, well, that arrow, you know, it just loops back on itself, right? So if you reverse the arrow of something going from itself to itself, nothing happens. And then what about the plus three sine thing? Minus three times cosine of x. Because we want an antiderivative, not a derivative, right? So if you were to take the derivative of this, which is always like a good practice, if you take the derivative of this, e to the x is e to the x, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, that minus will cancel out to a plus here, which is what we want. And then of course the constant is like nothing, right?